Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of the 2021 Formula 2 Driver Focus. These young guns will give us some exciting races, crazy overtakes and some memorable moments too. Through this series, you can get an insight of the drivers competing in this year's championship. And in this episode, we will focus on the Red Bull Junior driver pair at Hitech, Yuri Vips and Liam Lawson. So stay tuned till the end of the video to know more about their racing highlights, how they performed in 2020 and what to expect in 2021. Hi there, I'm Chili and I cover the content from the world of Formula 1 and Formula 2. And if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe, drop in a like and comment if you have any suggestions. Vips was born in August 2000 in Tallinn, Estonia and he is a member of the Red Bull Junior driver team since 2018. He made his single-seater debut in 2016 in the Italian F4 and the ADAC Formula 4 Championships with Prima Power Team. He finished 6th in the ADAC Formula 4 and 5th in the Italian F4 Championships that year. He won the final race of the Italian F4 Championship and took the Rookie of the Year title. In winter of 2016-17, he took part in the Indian-based MRF Formula 2000 Championship, taking 3 podium places and finishing 6th in the standings. In 2017, he claimed the ADAC Formula 4 Championship at the final race at the Hockenheim Ring, after Paul Sitter and teammate Marcus Armstrong lost the lead of the race to Atom Petrov. In the following years, he competed in Formula 3 and Formula Regional European Championships. Some of his racing highlights include winning the Formula 4 ADAC Championship in 2017 and finishing second in the Macau Grand Prix in 2019. In 2020, Vips competed in the Formula Regional European Championship as he could not travel to Japan due to lockdown limitations to participate in the Super Formula Series. While racing in the European Championship, Vips was called up to race in F2 to replace injured Sean Galel at Dams after it was confirmed that Sean will be ruled out of racing for at least 6 weeks. In his first 4 F2 races, he finished outside the points narrowly at Spa and Monza. He then scored his first points of the season at Mejello, where he finished 7th in the feature race and a podium in the sprint race, making him the first Estonian driver to claim a podium finish in Formula 2. After completing his duties in Formula 2, Vips tried to re-enter the Super Formula series and even completed the two-week quarantine period. However, the team announced that Vips will not take part in any of the remaining rounds. Red Bull later assigned him as their reserve and test driver from Turkish Grand Prix till the season end in Abu Dhabi. And in November 2020, Vips received his FIA Super license after completing a 300km test run for Red Bull, driving the RB8 at Silverstone. Vips will race full-time in Formula 2 for the 2021 season with Hitech Grand Prix team and expected to show some strong results. He will rejoin the Hitech team after a year gap as previously he raced with them in Formula 3 in 2019, finishing 4th overall. Vips scored 16 points including a podium finish in his 6th race stint with Dams and will now make a full-time step up to Formula 2. The prime objective for Vips in 2021 will be to beat his fellow Red Bull Junior drivers. Liam Lawson and Jihan Daruwala to be in the running for the F1 test runs and the F1 seat should the circumstance change at Red Bull or Alpha Tauri in 2022. Should Vips make it to Formula 1, he will be the first Estonian racing driver to compete in the pinnacle of motorsport. The 19-year-old New Zealander Liam Lawson was born in Hastings in 2002 and is a member of the Red Bull Junior team. Lawson made his single-seater debut in 2015 in the Formula 1st Manfield Winter Series with Saba Motorsport, taking a win and 10 podium finishes to claim second position overall. In the following years, Lawson partook in several other series including NZ1600 Championship, ADAC Formula 4, Asian F3 Championship, Toyota Racing Series and the Formula 3 Championships. Some of his racing highlights include winning the NZ F1600 Championship Series in 2017, Toyota Racing Series in 2019. He also finished as runner-up in the Australian F4 Championship in 2017, the ADAC Formula 4 Championship in 2018 and the Euro Formula Open Championships. In 2020, Liam competed in the FIA F3 Championship and the Toyota Racing Series. In Formula 3, Liam raced with the Hitech Grand Prix team, 
and claimed his maiden victory in the Austrian Grand Prix Sprint Race. He went on to win the feature race in Silverstone and the Sprint Race in the final round at Mugello. During the season, he won three races, claimed six podiums, one pole position and one fastest lap. Liam scored 143 points and finished fifth overall, just 21 points behind the champion Piastri. In the Toyota Racing Series, Lawson won five of the 16 races with 10 podiums, four pole positions and seven fastest laps. He finished second in the championship with 356 points, just six points behind the series winner Igor Fraga. Earlier this year, Hitek announced that Lawson will graduate to F2 and will partner the fellow Red Bull junior driver Yuri Vips for the 2021 season. He also tested the F2 machinery in Bahrain last year with Hitek and got a good understanding of the car. There's definitely still a lot more to learn for Liam as F2 will be a different challenge ahead. Formula 2 is an ideal career progression for Liam after finishing 5th in F3 last year. In 2021, along with F2, he will also do a bit of sports car racing with a full campaign in the DTM series, where he will race a Ferrari 488 GT3 alongside former Red Bull F1 driver Alex Albon. Liam sets himself a high target of winning the championship this year. It will be interesting to see where he will finish in the championship and who will win the Red Bull Junior driver battle in 2021. The Ruwala had a full season in F2 last year and Whips had some F2 experience while racing as a substitute driver in 2020, while this will be the first season for Lawson in the F2 cars. Typically, F2 is the final step for aspiring young drivers to progress to F1. It really depends on his performances in 2021 as an F2 driver to prove to Red Bull that he is worthy of an F1 seat. So that's a look at the high-tech driver pair. What do you guys think? Are the two Red Bull juniors potential F1 material? And where do you think they will finish in this year's championship? Do share your predictions in the comments below. And I will be back soon with another episode of the Formula 2 Driver Focus. And for 2021, there are some major changes for the F2 racing format. Do check out this video to get an overview of the changes in the new format. I will also leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. As always, keep rocking.